City of Hardin and surrounding area is now becoming a police state. This was uh, published September 28, 2009. Um, and like I said, check out the uh, check out this website. I'll put a link over in the sidebar as well as the uh, the names of Governor Brian Schweitzer, uh, Governor of Montana, Lieutenant Governor John Bollinger, Senator Max Baucus, and Senator John Tester, so that you can uh, you can make some phone calls to these people and uh, and let them know what you think about all this. Listen to this. This is titled "The Shaking Has Begun," and check it out for yourself. You know, the truth is going to come out. Uh, just, just looking at this website, listening to this horrific Russian-based music, um, it all ties in with what Obama's saying about a private armed force as well funded as the military and all. That. And, and 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 this makes sense as to why, you know, we're now becoming friends with Russia. And Iran, it could very well be just a big old smoke screen to get, to get everybody thinking Russia is the great guy and all these forces come in. And it's a mess, folks. It's a mess. Here, listen to this. It's, it's, it's the shaking has begun. Things are moving so quickly and we are out of time. The spirit of Pharaoh has entered our land. We have found out that our little town of Hardin is the, quote, test town for President Obama's new law to privatize the police force of local communities. Last night, and again, this was written September 28th, so this just came out. Um, last night, the city council voted to disband our sheriff's department and to bring in a private security company to police the town. Interestingly, earlier in the day, the mayor, when asked in an interview about the privatization of our police department, completely denied it and said that it would not be done without a council meeting. Then that evening, a council meeting was held in regards to that very thing. At the beginning of this month, our local prison signed an agreement with American Police Force, which is a subsidiary of a larger private security force that the U.S. used in the Iraq War and Hurricane Katrina. Yesterday, a convoy of 12 blacked-out Mercedes-Benz SUVs were brought into town. They were already painted with Hardin's colors, and Hardin Police Force was already painted on them. Hardin Sheriff's Department will no longer be in operation after the month of October. During October, the Sheriff's Department is to train this new security force in all the logistics of running the town of Hardin. If you go on the American Police Force site, you might notice that the logo they use is actually a Russian logo. I have been told that the man who came with the new security force is the captain has a thick Russian accent. Earlier this month, in an interview in regards to this Hardin prison and the training center that they are planning to build, we were told that 75% of the security officers that were to be trained would be, quote, international. The private security force is already patrolling the town. They had several people stop yesterday. Also, it appears that they are building some type of heavy-duty gate at the entrances of our town. In an interview, the American Police Force Security has stated that they will stay here one month to assess the population and then they will make their permanent base here. They said they are scouting out 30 towns in the U.S. but that Hardin is the first. Also, President Obama has authorized and signed a bill for full government funding of the privatization of the police departments through the U.S. by the end of October. It is their plan to have all major cities locked down. In an interview with one of the city council members, he stated that this new H1N1 shot, which has not been tested, will be mandatory, and if a resident out of our town refuses, they will be taken to our prison where they will be quarantined. A federal law has been passed that makes it mandatory that all health care workers have to take this new shot. If they do not, they will automatically lose their jobs. The new federal law that is in place make, makes... Uh, the new federal law that is in place gives you four choices in regards to the new shot. One, you can voluntarily take it or you can refuse and be taken to a place to be quarantined. Or as an alternative, if you refuse, you can have a chip placed in you to track you or a tracking bracelet which cannot be taken off. The state borders will be manned and locked down in the near future in regards to this mandatory shot. I am also told by a reliable source that today one of the managers at a local business in Hardin was visited by this new private security force which is now the new Hardin Police Department. 
He is an avid hunter, and they came to inform him that they had a list of all firearms that he owned. This includes all the residents of our town, and that he would need to take his guns down to have them put a marking device on them. Also today, one of the main streets in Hardin was completely blocked off, blocked off, and they have been setting up information booths where they are passing out pamphlets with information on this new H1N1 shot. And it goes on to say, Intercessors, I am not making up any of this information. You go out on the Internet and verify most of this information from KULR8, MSNBC, or Fox News. Things have changed so quickly in the last 24 hours. Things are not and will never be the same. We are indeed going into the prophesied four years of captivity for America. I believe we are about to enter into a time of persecution that the church in America has never known. We must prepare. The good news is that this is also the time when the glory of God will manifest itself in a way we have never known. Amen. And right now I'm going to show you a video that I, that I just found from the uh, UK where Cerevex has killed another young woman. Cerevex vaccine as well as Gardasil. They're also trying to make mandatory and Gardasil killed my daughter. Um, people be ready. People be ready. Game's on. The game is on. And the consequences are death and eternal death if you don't have Christ in your heart. He's not your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins and get right with God. We're in the days of Noah.